I want to talk about why your marriage is failing. When you choose to disobey God, when you choose to get out of order, curses are going to come upon you. So let's go to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 through 25. This is why it is really important to be careful in who you marry. Just don't marry a person because you feel the need to have sex. Be very mindful of who you marry. Just don't marry a woman because she is very cute or she has nice hips, nice thighs, nice breast, but whatever. No. Marry a woman, a woman that serves God. A woman who has an acceptable personality, not based upon so much on how she looks. Because if you only marry a person based upon looks, that is what you are going to get. Nothing more. Same thing with women. Don't marry men because they have a lot of money. Because if you marry a man with a lot of money, that is all you get. You are not going to get the love, perhaps. In some cases you may, but you may not get the love and the attention and stuff like that that you seek for. So be careful of who you marry. Okay. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. So this is saying the same way that you would submit yourself unto Jesus, submit yourself the same way unto your husband. Well, I am not going to do that. Then why are you married? Why get married if you are not going to obey God? Let's look up the word submit, accept, or yield to a superior force or to the authority or will of another person. If your husband is telling you to do something sinful or something to harm yourself, of course don't do it. But anything other than that, from what this is saying, you have to submit yourselves to your husband. If you are not willing to do this, don't get married. Because when you do get married, you have to abide by these rules. And if you don't, you are going to get cursed or you are going to continue being cursed with sickness and pains and stuff like that. 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. So he is higher than you. You have to answer to your husband. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. So the husband is the head of the wife. So he is pretty much in charge of his wife. The same way as Jesus Christ is ahead of us. Now, if Jesus Christ came to you and said, hey, woman, I want you to do this and this and that. Most women would say, yes, I would do anything what Jesus Christ would tell me. But when it comes down to your husband, no. From what this is saying, since the husband is the head of you, you have to submit to him the same way you have to submit to Jesus Christ. If you are not willing to do that, don't get married. If you are married and you are not doing this, no surprise, bad things are happening to you. No surprise. And he is the savior of the body. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, 
and he is the savior of the body. 24. Therefore, <clears throat> yes, therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so we are subject to Jesus Christ, we have to follow his rules and regulations, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything, not some things, but in everything. Let me highlight it. Let's make it pink. In everything. So if it is sinful, no. But anything that is not sinful, you have to submit to your husband. Well, you know, he does not deserve me being whatever to him, nice to him, or me going to him for everything. This is what it is saying. He is the head of you. 25. Husband or husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So what this is saying, husbands, your job is to love your wife, no matter what. Even if she submits to you or not, you still have to love her. Just because she is doing wrong does not mean that you can stop loving her. No, you have to love her no matter what. Because when you don't love her, hey, you are going to get cursed as well. Just because you are being done wrong does not mean that you can do wrong back. So if a woman or a wife submits to her husband and the husband is not loving her, hey, Wife, continue doing what you are doing because your husband is going to be cursed for not obeying God's law, his rules, his rules and regulations. If you don't follow this order in your marriage, this is why your marriage is not working. We have to follow the order that God has made. You can't get into something and make your own rules. You can't do that. Chaos is going to happen if you do that. So if you see this and say, hey, hey, Kevin, this is not for me. Okay, don't get married, obviously. But if you want to get married and have kids and want a successful marriage you can't try woman or wife you can't try to be the head of the husband even if you say that the guy is weak or whatever else if you try to be the head you are going to be cursed by far <laughs> by far and guys as a husband you have to love your wife no matter what whether she stays skinny, fat, sick, whatever else, you have to love her no matter what. If people follow this order in marriage, their marriage is going to go great. But people want to do their own thing, which creates chaos. Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verses 22 through 25. If you are not ready for this, don't get married. Don't get married because I know the Apostle Paul said, if you can't wait to have sex, get married. I understand that. But in this case here, if you are not willing to follow these rules here, <laughs> you are going to be messed up. This is Ephesians, so I believe Paul wrote Ephesians as well. So, okay, God bless.